Hey guys, what's up? Um, it's Saturday, and you are watching Color Me Queer. Um, yeah, so this week's topic is homophobia, in case you didn't catch on. Um, so, pretty much what we've established is homophobia is due to ignorance, which I agree with that. Um, I get a lot of comments at school, because, uh, at least in uh, my junior class, I'm pretty much known as the gay kid. Um, so, like, I don't know, I'll just hear a lot of comments in the halls like, Oh man, you're, you're such a faggot, or that is so gay, kind of thing. And um, at school, if I hear that kind of stuff, or like, if somebody's like, Whoa, you you're gay kind of thing, like, I'll just, you know, joke about it, like, I'll make them feel like the weird ones instead of vice versa. So I was with one of my friends, and I heard this guy, they were like right next to me, and they were like teasing one of their friends about being gay, and he wasn't really, but you know, they were just like, oh man, you're gay and stuff like that, and I was like... Why would you say, or why would you make fun of gay people? Because gay people are awesome. And I want to hug a gay person. And, like, you know, stuff like that. And just, like, pretty much rambling on. And they thought I was weird. Um, but, yeah. So, I made them feel like the weird ones instead of them making me feel weird or different. Um, so... Uh, that's what I do with, like, you know, stupid comments like that, but, um, if somebody's facing, like, physical stuff, like, uh, at school, you're, like, actually, like, getting beat up, or, um, like, you're, like, facing, like, really serious stuff at school, um, I would tell you, uh, don't fight back physically. Because, uh, two wrongs don't make a right, obviously. Um, and that just gives them a bad rap about, um, the whole community. Um, because like they said in Degrassi, if you beat up a homophobe, it only makes them more homophobic. Uh, which is very, very true. Um, but what I would say is, um, go to a trusted adult. And if they don't listen, keep going to other people until somebody listens. Um, at least uh, in America, it's illegal to um, bully somebody who is GLBT. So they could get in like really deep shit. Um, and if it's at home, um, I obviously, you know, kind of understand why that's a bigger deal. Um, and I wouldn't say that I'm facing homophobia now, uh, with my parents, but it's more of they've realized that, like, I mean, they've always been, like, really supportive, but I think now they're realizing that this isn't just a phase and I could very well marry a girl. And I probably will. They don't necessarily know that I'm engaged, but um, I think maybe my mom has taken up on some of the hints. Um, and I know that they don't have a problem with it. They're just scared for me because um, they know how hard it is. Um, and I remember when my dad uh, found out that... Um, I came out as bisexual, identified as bisexual for a long time, and, um, he had a problem with me wearing, um, Bi Pride t-shirts, and, um, we had, like, a lot of arguments about it, and he was afraid that, like, I was gonna get teased, or, like, I would, somebody would, like, physically hurt me, because, uh, at that time, um, one of his co-workers was gay, or 
um, a guy he knew that was like working with the government um, in the state of Iowa. Uh, he's gay and he was getting like death threats. Um, so he was worried that, you know, that something like that would happen to me. And if you're facing homophobia with your parents, just know that they want the best for you. And even if they're, like, obviously wrong, like, saying you're going to go to hell or, you know, like, stuff like that, they just want what's best for you. And in their mind, they're trying to do you right. Um, but just give them time. Um, like Evangeline said, a parent can't just stop loving you. Um, eventually they'll come around. Um, I have a family friend who, uh, their parents had ten kids. They were obviously Catholic. Um, and their daughter, uh, left her husband for a woman. And she identifies as lesbian now. And they had a lot of problems with it to begin with, but now they're just like, oh, whatever. Like, we accept uh, all, her wife and stuff like that. And, um, and then to me, like, homophobia is kind of like um, racism in America. Like, when it started out with, like, nobody or very few people supported uh, blacks and there was a lot of discrimination against them um, but now like I mean there's obviously still racism but it's not as common and you know obviously black people have more rights and I kind of view, view um, being like the gay community as that that like, one day we're going to have all our rights, and it's not going to be a big deal, and, you know, all that kind of stuff. Um, so, yeah, I guess that's all I have to say. This video is kind of long, so I should probably wrap it up, because I talk a lot like I'm doing now. I realize that, so, yeah, I guess I'll go. And I will see you guys next Saturday.